Hello everyone and welcome back to Bragging About Cinema. It has been far too long since the last review. Uh, I've just been really busy. July didn't have the best stuff that I really even wanted to review. August has been off like a rocket and I owe you a lot of videos. And the first one is, and here's a hint, and we have a She-Hulk. All right, so the first episode of Marvel's She-Hulk just dropped, and I wasn't sure what to expect from this one. I'd heard a lot of rumors this was gonna be a comedy. Uh, I'm not super familiar with She-Hulk and the comic books. I, I do read comics, but I, I guess I haven't really read a lot where she is in them. Uh, and so I kind of went into this. The first trailer looked all right. Uh, the trailer that was released around Comic-Con time was pretty exciting. Um, well, I don't know if it was just because of Daredevil, but I'm here to say this show was fantastic. I don't know if it's the best Marvel Disney Plus show, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And to top it all off, it was an origin episode. Okay, what I loved about this is the actress playing She-Hulk, um, and I don't want to butcher her name, but she is uh, comes out, out with a ton of energy. She doesn't really want to be a superhero and I'm not talking about the reluctant superhero where it's okay I guess I gotta save the day. She is driven on her career and hyper focused on uh, trying to help people in a different way besides save the day. Um, and I, I thought it was fun that we get to learn how she became She-Hulk and that so that's taken care of so now we can just move forward with the rest of the episodes. The the chemistry between her and Bruce Banner was uh, pretty good. They are cousins after all. And one thing I would say I am getting a little tired of is Smart Hulk. I thought he actually slowed the show down a little bit. The way he his character is like super smart but super dull at the same time. Uh, every time he talked, it was like, oh, uh, oh, you know, I'm a smart Hulk. For comedy, absolutely. And I just, that I just didn't like. Uh, I liked her, her crew, she's a lawyer, and I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, they make this funny, because I, I do think this is supposed to be a, a half hour comedy show. She does uh, break the uh, third, fourth wall and talks to us, uh, that didn't really bother me at all. Uh, it wasn't quite as in your face as like Deadpool, but it was uh, part of the show. I'm curious to see uh, how they were going to go, how they're going to go with that moving forward. Uh, also, the CGI was pretty good for a television show. Uh, whenever you have hulks on the screen and multiple hulks, you gotta have good CGI. I loved uh, watching her train with Hulk and seeing how they're different and how uh, you know one's a little better than the other. And so I'm looking forward to seeing how he factors into the show. Although there seemed like a lot of uh, Easter eggs in this where it teased what he is going to be working on next after the Hulk. So maybe this is his only appearance. Uh, this could be like when uh, Superman was originally in Supergirl and then uh, he went away and then every once in a while he came back. So it's probably that kind of relationship. So overall, Gambit absolutely loved this. He's given his paw of approval. We're going to give this an A. Uh, we're looking forward to watching a ton more. Uh, what did you think? Let me know below. I haven't had a chance to chat shows or movies in a while, so I'm really itching to chat about this show because it was it was significantly better than I expected. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification so you can know when the next video comes out. And trust me, it's going to be a lot sooner than the last the gap between the last two videos. Because the good news is, when you watch my videos, you are going to find something to brag.